creasing is a normal part of owning leather shoes, but sometimes creases can appear much worse than they actually are. Some shoes are in better shape than they might initially appear, so it's time to learn how to solve this issue and keep your shoes looking their best. This is The Elegant Oxford with your host, Preston Soto. I've got a lot of questions about this because uh, people watch my videos and they notice that I remove creases from shoes pretty well. And uh, there's really no secret. I just want to let you know on some helpful information that'll, that'll you know, make things easier and that'll clear up some misconceptions. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the other pair. Let me put them up close like this. As you can see, this pair looks a lot better than this pair. And uh, I did a couple of things to make sure uh, this shoe looked a lot better than this one. And the first thing you need to you know, make your shoes look a lot better, especially if they're thrift finds, is to use a shoe tree. But not just any shoe tree. I use these vintage lasted shoe trees. They're a lot sturdier and their shape is just a lot better. And you can find these online or in thrift stores. Unfortunately, they don't make them anymore. So uh, they can be kind of hard to find. And you'll notice immediately when I put the shoe tree in, there are the, as soon as I put the shoe tree in, the creases look way better. It just helps all around, fills in the shoe nicely, and that's something you might not get with a cedar shoe tree. Even though cedar shoe trees are vital, they're important to wick out sweat after you've worn a pair of shoes all day. Uh, but these are more for restoring shoes. And you'll notice these still have some some creases right here. Okay, let's get up closer. You can see that there, there are some creases right along here on the leather on the vamp. That's completely normal. Um, you'll never have a world where you don't get shoe creases. That's just part of owning leather shoes. Um, unless you have shell cordovan shoes and they don't really crease, they roll. Uh, but sometimes creases are just made worse because of the factory finish a shoe has. So for those who don't know, a lot of companies uh, add a factory finish to a shoe when it's done. Uh, for uniformity of color, uh, just to make things look better. But sometimes that shoe finish uh, ends up cracking slightly. It ends up uh, folding over on itself as you wear the shoe, uh, making creases look 10 times worse <laughs> than they actually are. Um, so what I do, and I need you to be really cautious when you do this, because this is not something I advise everyone should do. You have to be judicious in your choice. Um, but that is to remove the factory finish. Okay, on black pairs, it's not a problem. You can do that easily because the shoes won't change color. Uh, but on lighter pairs like tan, walnut, that could really make your shoe look different. So you just got to be careful and you got to watch out so that you don't ruin your shoes. I've seen shoes darken, change color, and I get complaints and emails. But uh, that's just a little warning for you. Be careful. Don't go off and go crazy and try to change your shoe. But on black pairs, dark brown pairs, um, you can totally do that. So when you're done, the creases are going to look uh, a lot better just because that factory finish is going to be removed. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can always just use shoe cream and shoe polish on these. But if you ever need, go on eBay or something and look up vintage shoe tree and you'll find some of these lasted trees. Okay, I'm going to be using acetone. It's just normal acetone you can find at Walmart. And um, a butyl glove and butyl doesn't... Uh, um, doesn't melt, doesn't fall apart with acetone. Let me show you here. Just grab a rag, okay, just any old rag. Put some acetone on the rag, and then just go over that area, just like that. That'll remove the factory finish from in between the creases. Excuse me, the creases, <laughs> not creases, the creases. And you already see a lot of factory finish coming right off. Okay. Now, I know some of you may not feel comfortable doing that, and that's totally fine. But as you remove the factory finish, you'll expose the bare leather. And I find bare leather is just easier to shine overall. Okay, so we're going. Obviously, I'm not done at all. But you can see the creases just look a lot better more manageable and uh, you know unless you dunk these in water like I've shown you in other videos and I'll link to that in the description um, you'll always have creases they'll form again but if you just want to present the shoe really nicely you can remove the creases that way okay and since acetone goes directly into the leather 
um, that actually helps the leather kind of uh, reshape more easily. So acetone absorbs right into the leather, right in, and then it evaporates in seconds. Uh, but that really helps to reshape the leather so that when you remove the tree, it'll look a lot better overall. Um, but I'm just gonna remove that factory finish over the entire shoe, and when you're done, it'll look like that. It's just gonna look better overall, and uh, the shoe is just gonna look more presentable. Okay, so I hope that's just, just a short little uh, public service announcement for you, and I hope it helps. And uh, you'll see the, this pair in another in a video I'm doing soon. It's a Carmina versus Allen Edmonds. I might have posted it by now, but I um, uh, hope that helps. All done. The factory finish has been removed. As you can see, the shoes look a lot better than before. The factory finish was just getting in the way. Now, if I remove the shoe tree, um, the creases will still be there. Um, they'll just be less severe. But if you want to remove shoe creases completely, um, you can always do the, the bath method which I've shown in my $15 restoration video, my thrift shop restoration video that's in the link below. Um, but let's just remove the shoe tree and see how it looks. Okay, there we go. So looks a lot better. It's not perfect, but it's not supposed to be. We're just kind of getting rid of a barrier. Um, but if you want to do the Swedish bath, as they call it, the Swedish bath method, you can do that as well. Okay, so I hope this helps. And uh, thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share for more content in the future. Make sure to check out my other videos as well if you'd like to learn more about shining your shoes. Look for me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Elegant Oxford for more. Remember to care for your shoes so that they'll last you for years to come. Always put your best foot forward. The small details matter most, so don't forget to hashtag shine your shoes. I'll see you next time.